Well, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. This is Roxanne here on Light for the World. I hope you all are doing well and staying informed and everything. It came to my attention that many people were celebrating Pentecost on Sunday, May 19th, when if you're following the biblical system in the biblical way, Pentecost should actually be on June 16th at least according to the calendar that I that I follow. Um, and it's supposed to be based on the biblical Hebrew calendar. So let's talk about this a little bit. If you were not aware, the modern traditional Christian churches have been influenced by Rome and the Pope. And Rome and their leaders actually went in many centuries ago and began to change different times and laws and days to suit their customs and their traditions and their pagan gods, actually. You know, they went in and made changes and told the Christian church, this is the way you're going to celebrate this, this is what you're going to do. Now, if you, if you know your Bible well, if you know the Lord well, if you know God's ways well, you know, we don't answer to people. We have to answer according to what God has, you know, what the Lord says he wants us to do. So let's go, let's take a look real quick at how Pentecost has been calculated in the so-called traditional churches that are under Rome and Babylon and how it's actually calculated in the Bible, okay? So let's see, this is from Leviticus 23. In the Bible, I'm just going to scroll down just so you can see about the Feast of Unleavened Bread. In the Bible, Pentecost is calculated. It's taken as you take the first Sunday that falls during the Feast of Unleavened Bread and you count 50 days. And then that will be your Pentecost Sunday. That's how it's calculated here. Let's scroll down. Hopefully my computer won't glitch. I really hope it won't. So here we are here. I'm scrolling down to where it talks about the Passover and unleavened bread. It says, these are the feasts of the Lord, holy convocations, which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. On the 14th day of the first month at, I remember sunset, is the Lord's Passover. Okay, so the first month, according to the biblical calendar, I believe is the month of Nisan. I think that's the name of it on the Hebrew calendar. Nisan and so the 15th day of that month and the only way to know what that month is and what the 15th day is would be to follow the um, traditional Hebrew or biblical calendar okay so you would have to do some research to find that I actually get my calendar from my church my mother's church which is the United Church of God and they follow the biblical calendar so it's something for you to research yourself you know I'm not really an expert on this stuff but it would be the month of Nisan. Look that up. The 15th day <clears throat> is when the uh, Passover starts. It says the 15th of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Seven days you eat unleavened bread. Okay? Okay. So during the Feast of Unleavened Bread... On the Sabbath that occurs, the day after the Sabbath, which is a Sunday, the way we call it, it says offer up a wave sheaf offering. So that is the Sunday from which we count the, the um, seven weeks to get to the next Sunday that is Pentecost Sunday, okay? So if you were looking at when that fell in 2024, according to the Holy Calendar or the Biblical Calendar, the Biblical Way, it would have been April 23rd through 29th would have been the Feast of Unleavened Bread. But if you look at the calendar, the way the traditional Christian church was following it, which is based on Rome, they have a totally different way to calculate this. Let me show you. This is how they're calculating it in Rome. It says, the date of Easter is determined by an astronomical calculation that involves the vernal equinox, and the first full moon that occurs on or after it. So the equinox is what? Is that the, um, 
the beginning of the spring equinox, it's the longest day or something like that. Uh, vernal equinox, the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere, which can fall on March 21st or a day or two later. Okay? So they're calculating so-called Easter, which would be, which they're equating to the biblical Passover. And I don't know where the Feast of Unleavened Bread falls in there. But that's where they're counting down from Pentecost. And that is not the way it's stated in the Bible. That's not the biblical way to do things. That's the way they're doing things under Babylon and their pagan gods. Okay? And when you look at what Google is telling you, once again, which is based on the Church of Rome, um, which is not based on what's written in the Bible, it says this year Pentecost will be on Sunday, May 19th occurring seven weeks after Easter Sunday. Well, they didn't calculate, they're calling it Easter, they didn't calculate that part right for Passover, and they're not coming to Pentecost correctly, okay? As far as I'm concerned, according to what I'm reading in the scriptures and what I understand about the uh, biblical calendar, what I have is that Pentecost for, Ju for uh, 2024 will fall on Sunday, June 16th, June 16th. So that is something for you all to <clears throat> research and look into more. Yeah. And just as an aside, you can look into the scripture in Daniel where it says there would come such a one from the other kingdom, not, not, not on the behalf of God's kingdom, but from the other kingdom, not on behalf of God's true prophets, but such a one who would try to come in and change times and laws, change times and seasons. And that is what has happened. Okay, so um, I guess that's the end of that. You guys have a blessed day. Until next time, peace and blessings. Bye-bye.